Okay, yes, this meeting is recorded. So since it's just the two of us, are we doing um, level one again because we were pitiful last time? I think so. I think that makes sense. Um, should we intro this to Nasaga? I guess so. Okay. <laughs> Hi, well, everyone. everyone. Sorry, I cut you. <laughs> you go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. This is Mark and Melissa, and we are playing. <laughs> We're playing Gloomhaven. <laughs> I could do the queen one instead. <laughs> um, we are playing Gloomhaven. We've been playing Gloomhaven over Zoom since February, I guess. Um, this is how we're getting our board gaming in during being stuck inside because Mark is in Seattle that got shut down pretty early. And I'm in Hawaii where we have not very permeable borders, so we are stuck with it, whoever's here. Actually, we just opened our borders up, but you have to have like two different negative tests. Otherwise, we put you in a room for two weeks. So think about that before you plan your vacation to Hawaii. Um, anyway, so it is Miss Saga right now. And we decided to do a special segment where we would invite people from Miss Saga to join us to play. It is now if they want to play, what? And or watch, watch and or watch. Yes, if they have a copy of the game, they were allowed to join us in playing, but mostly we're figuring they're gonna backseat drive. That said, it's just us right now, so. Excited, yeah, it so. might just be us. Like it might uh, just be there, us. Were, there were two people who expressed interest and um, you know, it's Sunday, who knows. But that's okay because we are recording this and we're going to throw it up on YouTube uh, as part of the ongoing series. We've been recording every session. Um, Even the bad ones. Yeah, <laughs> like last <laughs> week. Uh, and um, I guess it'll be cross posted this time to both my YouTube channel, which is where we've been putting them, and to Nasaga's because um, we're doing this sort of as part of the conference this year. Mm -hmm. um, so if you don't know what Nasaga is, uh, it's North American Simulation and Gaming Association. Um, Melissa well, uh, uh, used to be on the board and used to be the president, and I am currently on the board, um, partly because of Melissa, and um, we, it's basically a, a really cool conference every year, or it's a cool organization that runs this conference every year where a bunch of people get together and talk about games and simulations for uh, learning environments, for training, for corporate training, for school, for, you know, whatever, higher ed, for, you know, whatever, everything, right? But they mostly concentrate on uh, tabletop and analog games. Um, and Nasaga has been around since the 60s, uh, which is Kind of amazing um, and has close ties to simulation and gaming journal so um, yeah it's a really small group uh, because of COVID we are all online this year and so um, this is part of that <laughs> <laughs> I don't think either of us were going to drag Gloomhaven to an in-person event big box but probably not but I just got this. Oh, cool. Oh, that's much smaller. It's way smaller. It's meant to be like an intro. It's Gloomhaven Light. Nice. Is it a new story? Yeah, it's a prequel to what happens in the, in the actual thing. I haven't actually really punched out anything or anything like that. But what I wanted to show you is really cool. If you, you can see, like, for people who are joining, you can see that maps are made out of these tiles. With this, um, this light version has, like, this scenario book. Oh, cool. Page is, like, you play on the book itself. That's awesome. Yeah. 
that's basically what sold it for me. I'm like, yes, that looks awesome. I want to check that out. Sweet. I might have to get that. I don't know. I, I, was, I also yeah. love components, though. Yeah. Well, I was thinking it comes with four characters. Um, I was thinking of, or I think it comes with four starting characters, and then there are more that you can unlock, just like in regular Gloomhaven. But I was going to play this solo. Um, if I ever had a chance, I mean, I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but, <laughs> but if it does happen, then, um, you know, we might have more characters that have unlocked that we could bring into this game. Oh, cool. <laughs> that would be super cool. Yeah. And then, and, and, uh, so you got, you kickstarted the sequel to Gloomhaven. Mm -hmm. So when you finally get that, if we're not done with this yet, who knows how long this is going to take? Uh, you could probably unlock characters in that and bring them into here, right? Maybe. I'm not honestly sure how much interaction they're planning for that. I don't know. I'm excited, though. They've been posting stuff. And I, as part of kickstarting it, I got access to their in-progress, like still early access uh, Steam app for Gloomhaven, which is, if they don't have the campaign yet, it's still just kind of like random encounter land. but it's really cool because I can play with all of the other characters that I haven't necessarily played with in this. Um, I'm discovering that maybe I should have made some other decisions early on because <laughs> some of the other characters, um, the one that I thought was going to be too squishy to play is like hyper powerful. So I picked the Tinkerer instead of the whatever spellcaster one was because I thought the Tinkerer would be like slightly less squishy, which I think was true, but way less powerful. So um, I think this other one, we would have just kind of, well, I don't know. We might have just stormed straight through because I like fireballing, fireball, fireball, fireball kind of thing. You know, it's, it's one of those things. And mm -hmm. because, because it's not as D and it's not the same as D and D you can cast fireball without lighting your entire party on fire. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we got what we got, and I think it worked out fine. Mm -hmm. um, and really? we, are on, we are on our second set of characters. So mm -hmm. for Masaga people, we started off with these two. <laughs> um, a uh, a uh, scoundrel? Scoundrel. Kind of like a rogue in D&D. Uh, &D. And then a tinkerer, who's, I guess, kind of like an artificer in D&D. &D. Mm -hmm. Then we've moved on to these two characters. I have no idea if you can see this. <laughs> it's a little blurry, but the, you can see them. Okay. One of them is a uh, paladin sort of character, and the other one is like a summoner. Or it literally is a summoner, right? Literally, it's not a summoner. Summoner. <laughs> literally a summoner. Um. So anyways, we, the campaign so far, um, with our original characters, we uh, basically uh, answered the call to, call to investigate for the city called Gloomhaven, um, some weird goings-ons in, in the city and surrounding areas. Um, they discovered, or I guess we uh, discovered, um, basically some shady stuff going on with like a cult and everything. Yeah. In middle of a thing. <laughs> um, and um, uh, so we followed a bunch of leads. We made friends with like an enchantress. Um, we discovered that there was like this thing called the gloom, um, which was sort of related to these this undead cult, sort of. Um, the person who originally hired us turned out to be uh, one of the masterminds, and so, um, you know, we basically turned on her, or did we betray her, or did she betray us? <laughs> she sent us to that village where we sort of accidentally anakin a, a whole, like, village full of people, and then we decided, oh, whoops, she's evil, and the city guard said, 
you want to make it up to us after doing all that murder, uh, go go catch her or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So we did that. And anyways, um, that led to a uh, yeah, yeah. We did we did kept we killed her. We murdered her. Um, but then we also discovered that there was this weird like artifact that was kind of um, being used by various other evil entities and um in investigating those other evil entities um uh, there were three that were using that that artifact um and we were able to take out one of them the second one was last week we failed miserably um nearly super miserable yeah mostly because it was stupid stupid uh escort quest <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was, I forgot already. I blocked it out. I was so mad about it. <laughs> yeah. Our characters are not meant, are not uh, escorty types. Or I don't know, I feel like two, having two characters in the party to do that escort quest is, is a handicap versus having four people. Well, I mean, the other problem is, is that I can summon a bunch of stuff, but the summon stuff doesn't necessarily know to, like I don't control the summon stuff and tell it to go protect the dude. Because the guy that we were protecting, instead of being like a smart, some uh, smart escort, escorted, whatever, just charged into things. Like, didn't wait for us to go first. Just got to like. Whoosh. Yeah, which is why I think having four people in the party would have been good because we could have blocked. We would have occupied more spaces so that that person wouldn't have been able to uh, end their their turn on one of those spaces that we occupied. You know? Yeah, yeah, that was problematic. I mean, my summons could have done that a little bit, but he could also walk straight through them. So it... yeah, but your summons kept. I mean, part of the problem is your summons have to keep catching up. You know yeah. what I mean? Because you summon them, and then yet they have to wait a turn before they can go. Um, but anyways, we uh, decided to take a break for Nasaga. We we. Um, uh, while you're playing this game, sometimes you unlock side missions. We unlocked a side mission mm -hmm. um, to do something, <laughs> to visit the Temple of the Eclipse. So that's what we're doing this week. Yes. Um, and who knows? How that goes. Our new characters are relatively, I mean, they're relatively new to us. And also, um, they aren't as powerful as our characters that we retired. So, um, yeah this mission that we're going to be doing. I think it's a boss fight, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> it should go amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When a group uh, of no tanks tries to play RPGs. Using a number of different apps and stuff. Um, so as you see, we, we got this for uh, person layout, I guess, in Zoom. Three of them are me uh, with three <laughs> different devices. And and one of them is doing this, um, you know, the uh, phone screen. I have that on my phone, basically. Um, and then another device is actually hosting the Zoom meeting and, and doing this, uh, the map view. And then a third device is me talking to Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> We're high tech with our board gaming. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So I guess uh, we need to do hmm? city, event, city events and road events and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're in the city. We're doing a city event. Do you need to buy anything? I have no money, so. I don't think anyway. Let me double check, but I am ninety percent sure I have no money. I'm pretty sure I have no money as well. Okay, we got city event number nineteen. Um, a curious invitation is slipped under your door in the early morning. It is for a wedding ceremony between the children of two wealthy Gloomhaven merchants. Your exploits seem to have placed you in their good graces, and so they would like you to join them on this special occasion. Provided you don't show up in blood-soaked armor. 
And for the love of the great oak, bring a gift. Option A, do we attend the wedding with an expensive gift? Or option B, attend the wedding and bring a mundane gift. Um, I don't know. I we, feel like- You just said we don't have very much money, but. Uh, yeah, I have like no money. So I have 11 according to this, although that seems maybe low and it, the, my app is showing me that I have negative 16 experience. So something weird has gone on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, that's problematic. All right, let's see if I can fix that. I think 11 gold was right. I think I have something like 20 or so. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out why I suddenly, it said that I had negative six, it showed like a number below level three and that I had negative 16 experience, but I've done, we've done two or three things since then. So this is very confusing to me. The problem of being high tech with your app. Yeah. Okay, so I have no money, so I feel like we bring a mundane gift. I think we try it expensive and then let the card tell us if we can afford it or not. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Option A. Um, if our reputation is greater than nine. I don't think it is. Then we pay 20 collective gold. Oh, wait. Yes, our reputation is greater than nine. Okay. Um, you head to the new market and find a magnificent vase to bring as a gift. When the father of the bride sees it, he declares it's the most wonderful piece he's ever encountered. You are the talk of the town. We gain two reputation. Nice. Then that cost us 20. Let me see how much I actually have. I have 14. I have 11, so how do I gain two reputation in this? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go back to my other version. So do you want my whole 11 or 10? 10, I guess, or uh, 10 each. Okay. Okay, now where is, sorry, this is ridiculous that my app broke. I'm gonna have to go like the old fashioned way. Oh wait. <laughs> this is so confusing. Never mind. One thirty-four. It's I'm... showing me how much to the next level, I think. This is what is confusing me. I see. It like updated and now it shows you how far to the next level. I thought it was closer than that, but so if we do well today, I might actually make it to level four. Okay. You're farther along than I am, I think. Every You're time so I summon something, I get like two points. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, okay, we're now doing a road event on our way to the, to the uh, what is this, it was again, Temple of the Eclipse. Two okay. reputation, you said? Mm -hmm. Two reputation? Two. Yes, two. Um, our price modifier just is now negative four in town. Okay. Uh, we got road event number 12. Uh, a rustling in a nearby thicket stops you in your tracks. You crouch down and assume a defensive stance. Suddenly, a tiny ball of fur with short, stubby legs leaps out at you. It barks at you twice in an ineffectual, high pitched tone and then begins to wag its tail. You relax your weapons. What are such a small defenseless puppy doing out in the wilderness? Option A, leave the puppy to fend for itself. Or option B, take the puppy and bring it back to Gloomhaven. We're clearly taking the puppy. I guess we, we, we now have a pet dog. Sweet. Option B. You sigh and lift the puppy into your arms. It barks happily and licks your face. This will surely prove a distraction in your upcoming battle, but once you get it back to Gloomhaven, you should be able to find it a nice home. 
one start scenario with I'm not sure. I'm not even sure how to read this card. <laughs> Can you read I, it? One starts this scenario with negative one, three extra negative one cards. I guess oh. that one of us, whichever one of us is carrying the puppy. And gain a rep. Yep. Um, I already gained the rep. Do you want me to, since? Because I can bless you? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm adding three minus one cards because I'm carrying a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> when in doubt, always carry the puppy into battle. <laughs> that would be a really good time to be able to turn into an Allosaurus. <laughs> Not to eat the puppy. We got scenario 81. Indeed. One. like really chunking up the graphics this time. Um, weird. Yeah, it is weird. But you can make out what's going on, right? Sun to keep her, summon her, my demon. Yeah. Okay, we have to decide where we're gonna be starting, which is like somewhere in here. Let me put the bad guys in. I hadn't done that yet, just in case somebody joined us. Mm. Make sure I had the right bad guys. I'm going to do these um, dungeon cards. Which dungeon cards? These. Oh, uh, yep. So the other thing, for those of you who haven't been is that we each get a goal during the dungeon to help us uh, basically give ourselves perks and things like that for when we are so that um, we can improve our characters even when we're not leveling up. So we have all these various things we can do to get check marks to help us improve our characters. Mm -hmm. And the way we're doing this coordination is. Um, okay, I got it. <laughs> I show Melissa one, uh, two cards. She chooses one of them to be the one that she's going after. I draw two cards and choose one of them. And that's how we've been doing this like play over Zoom thing. Okay, I am going to do this one. And I'm going to do this one. Gonna try to do this one. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Um, I put you right here. I have no idea if that's where you want to be. That works for me. Okay. Behind you. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Oh, we need to spawn these guys. So it's two, two of these guys and two of these guys. And then, one, two. Oh man, the sun demons have a shield and advantage. Mm. We all have disadvantage against the night demons. That's terrible. 
Yeah. Oh, I just noticed. So I'm using the same app you're using. At the bottom, it tells you how many experience points you get at the end of the scenario and how much to multiply the gold by and how oh, much. Hey, that's that handy. <laughs> that's very handy. <laughs> and traps are, are do three damage. Yep. Mine says four minutes at the bottom left. What does that mean? How long we've been sitting with it open? I guess. Is yours at four minutes too? No, mine's at 19 minutes because I had it turned on already. Okay, so yeah, that is how long. Um, okay. Uh, I guess I'll read, I'll read the intro. Okay. Um, we are at the Temple of the Eclipse. The goal is to kill the colorless. Uh, intro introduction. On your way to the location indicated by the Aether, dark clouds loom over you. A light drizzle begins to fall as you approach a small temple hidden in the Dagger Forest. The building seems abandoned, but once you are inside, you are transfixed by a fascinating sight. An eternal twilight sky spans over you. Caught between night and day, the room is illuminated by a strange glow. A quick survey of your surroundings, however, indicates that you are not welcome. Demons of light and shadow approach. We have special rules here. At the start of every round, move the light and dark elemental tokens to the strong column and move the fire, wind, and ice and earth elemental tokens to the inert column. So um, that basically only light and dark are going to be usable. Looting the first treasure tile gives the character the crystal of zenith. Looting the second treasure tile gives the character the Sphere of Midnight. These are not items, but having them will be useful in the scenario. Ow. So we were trying to get to these two chests. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's under special rules. So we definitely want them. Mm. Okay. So this is pretty easy, right? Because we're gonna pass by those chests on the way, anyways. Yeah. And, and what are these? What are these thingies? The green things. Those are uh, poison and immobilized traps. Yeah. But they don't do damage. They just poison us and immobilize us. Yeah. Poison sucks, though. It does stink. Okay, well, um, hmm. Maybe we can do some pushing. Mm -hmm. Right? Less available. The sun is right in my eyes right now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess uh, I'm just going to move up and attack them. OK. I, I don't know I should attack. Um, the night demons have five health, and the sun demons have seven health. So I'm not sure. But I was going to summon. I was going to summon. Why are my cards doing this? I guess I'll go after Night Demon first because they um, have fewer hit points and don't have a shield. Oh, yes, yes. You should probably think about summoning my Shadow Wolves because they have Pierce. Mm. But should I do that now or wait? I don't know. I, I didn't really peek out uh, the monster layout later. I'm peeking right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot more monsters. So, but, uh, I think I'm gonna, 
Yeah, I'm changing what I was going to do. Okay. Would you rather I try to kill it or stun it? Um, I'm going to go quite late in the round so that my summons don't get deaded in the first round, hopefully. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so, either way, really? Um, stun's not a bad idea. Yeah, either way. Okay, I've got uh, 23. I have 94. 23 and 94. That is pretty late. They have 41 and 50. They're going to move and attack. Yeah. Uh, and move and attack with range. These guys, these guys fly and have range. Great. Me first. I'm gonna go right up in their faces. Sweet. And then attack this guy. Let's just shuffle this. So at the beginning of every round, there's a light and a dark. Yep. That's kind of cool. I have a bunch of abilities that consume light. Oh, that's good. I I have a couple that use dark. Maybe only one that uses dark. Okay, I'm attacking four plus two, six. I think he, oh, I have disadvantage. Four plus two or plus zero, so four. Four, okay. I just killed him. He didn't die. Almost dead. Almost dead. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. Uh, okay, he's going to attack me. Um, attack for a zero. That's four points. I'm down to 10. This new character of yours takes a lot of damage. Like a lot of damage. I didn't buy any armor or anything. Maybe I should. <laughs> um, and then uh, the other night demon who's over here is going to move two. Like one, two. Okay. And then the sun demon, uh, since I'm right next to him, he wants to move away so he can shoot me. So I guess he'll go this way, one one space. I guess so. And then shoot me with an attack of two plus one, three points. Jeez. Good grief. Not, not an auspicious beginning. No, it is not. Um, and the other guy moves two, one, two. And we're not in range, so that's it. Now it's your turn. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to attack that same night demon that you just attacked for two. Um, plus one. Oh, wait. There's a vanity. Or minus one. So I attacked him for one. That's enough to kill him. Okay, cool. He did. Bye bye, night demon. And then I am summoning two shadow wolves. So I guess I'll just do these two. And I'm going to put them like one right behind you and one to my character's left. OK. Should I grab the same colors? I don't think it really matters, as long as you can tell them apart. I just have to figure out. And they have pierce, so they'll be super useful for killing stuff. Or uh, 
talking about the sitcom community? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second though. I'm like, what? Um, and then I get to, nope. I get to experience for that. Yay. I might make it this turn. Okay. End of my turn too. Next round. Do you need me to heal you? <laughs> I'm already at half health, so probably. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should have stunned. Hopefully you go before me. Okay. I'll do my best. I have 85. I have 25. Wow. Yeah, my options are really to like go first or last. Those are my only two options. <laughs> I don't get to go in the middle. <laughs> well, the night demon is going really first. Um, first, he's moving four. One, two, I guess. Yeah. I guess right here on top of the loot. OK. Yeah. Attacking me for two, two plus zero, two points, and then turning himself invisible. No, I hate when they go invisible. So now I can't target him. Right. Where is and he uses up the dark. Um, and he and he uses the dark. Okay. Now it's your turn. Okay. So my guys can't see him, I guess. Um, so. How far can they move? They can move three. So this guy goes one, two over you. So he's kind of like next to both. Uh huh. The other guy, I guess, just moves forward one because he's. There's not really a way for him to get anywhere else, so he just moves forward one. Yep. Um, and the guy who moved in between you and like the sun demon tries to hit the sun demon for two. We could have made him move on onto this square instead, because it's up to us. Either way, it's still just. It's just one person on that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, doesn't matter. Let me see. Actually, if he'd gone there, one, two. Actually, that would have been better. Can we do that instead? Okay. We okay. So he went one, two. You still can't see that guy, but, and then this guy went one, two, up. So now you're like surrounded. Yeah. Flanked. Flanked. Yes. Okay. So then the other guy is doing, is um, attacking the sun demon for two but has pierced so don't need to worry about the shield plus zero so just two two, two points point. in. yep and then i am skipping the attack because i don't really have anything i can do with the top of that card and i'm healing you for three so healed for three okay healing me for three my turn. And now the sun demon goes, I guess. Yeah, so um, 
he uh, does not move. He's just going to attack this. Um, it's a shadow wolf. Shadow wolf. Yep. So attack of three uh, minus one, two points. So he is down to one point of damage, or one okay. point. Of and the other guy just moves two. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> um, I turned off notifications on my phone, but it clearly didn't work. Oops. You know what? I bet I can just turn off my internet completely. All of a sudden, everything is broken. I just went into airplane mode. That'll probably fix it. <laughs> um, I can't attack this guy. Yeah, because he's invisible. Oh, and you're melee only, right? Well, okay, so I attack the air, and then I bless um, one of your shadow wolves. Cool. And I am basically done. These, wait, these things, uh, these pillars or whatever, yeah. You can't land in them, right? You can't stay in them? No, they're um they're green, so they're um what are they? Impassable or whatever. Yeah, they're obstacles, I think. Okay. You can move through them with a flying or a jump, and you can shoot over them or around them, but you can't stand on them. Okay. Then uh, I'm gonna, you know, what? I'm gonna use this potion and heal myself for five. Okay. I have thirteen now. And now it's the next round. Sweet. Oh, this guy's visible again, right? I think he's visible on his turn. Oh. Oh, yeah, because he went invisible on that last turn. Yeah. Um, I've got... I guess I have 56. I have 51. Okay, he is now no longer invisible. He's gonna move to an attack four. Um, he doesn't have to move. He's gonna attack for one of your shadow wolves. Okay. Do we get to choose which one? Probably, right? Probably, yeah. But, um, so four is plenty to kill either of them, so why don't we kill the one that has lower health? Okay. <laughs> So he attacks that guy, gets a plus one, so does five damage to him. Okay, he's dead. Goodbye, Shadow Wolf. And that's his turn, and now it's your turn. Okay. I am moving up next to... Oh, wait. This Shadow Wolf tries to attack him for two, minus one. Attacks him for one. Draw two cards. Oh, right. It's 
still attacks him for one because the other one was a plus one. Okay. And then I move up behind my shadow wolf. And that makes a wind, but it doesn't matter because it's going to go away before I can use it anyway. And then I have him um, attack. Hold on. I still had two shadow wolves up there. Um, move and attack. He doesn't need to move, so he's just going to attack for two again. Plus one or plus zero, so he attacks for two. That's good. And that is my turn. Okay. Um, I am attacking him for five. Either times two or plus zero. Plus zero. He's dead. dead. And then I am... I was going to use my winged shoes and jump over everyone onto the chest. But now that the guy's not there, I don't know if I need to do that anymore. Well, I mean, it would, you wouldn't have to walk all the way around to avoid the trap. I do have a, mo a move and jump one though too, so. I guess I'll still do it. Okay, then I won't do it. <laughs> Two, three, there. Okay, so then you have the, what one is that one? Uh, Crystal Zini? Maybe just hold on to the thingy, the treasure chest, and we'll consider that having the Crystal of Zenith. Okay. And then they do their thing. So, um, I guess they go after a Shadow Wolf, right? So this guy's gonna go one and attack your Shadow Wolf for three minus one, two points of damage. Okay. Oh, they get they have advantage. I have to roll. I have to draw twice. Plus two, actually. So um, five points of damage. Yeah, he's dead. dead. The other guy uh, goes after me because I'm closer. Um, attacks me for three plus one or plus one. So attacks me for four. It's on the trap, right? There's a trap there? There's a trap there. So I don't know if he would go, how many was he supposed to move? Just two? Uh, yes. But he can't get to me, so he would still try to get to you, but... He would get on a trap and be immobilized. Y yes? Yeah, I think that's how it would work. I think he would go on the trap and be poisoned and immobilized. Except he's flying. Does the trap still apply to him? Oh, I don't know. Maybe if you stop on it. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. The book is really big and we never know all the rules. I think he wouldn't actually go after me. He's three from you and he would avoid the trap to go around this pillar, I think, for me. Which would make him four spaces from me. It says into traps that they have to. It says if a figure loses its flying trait. So as long as he's still flying. Oh, then he totally does, goes there and doesn't trigger the trap. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. OK. So he did attack me. Yeah. Sorry. OK. <laughs> that was confusing. Uh, okay, next round. Wait, how many, how much damage did he do to you? Oh, uh, four. So I ha I'm now down to nine. Okay. Boo. 
Okie dokie. Oh, they healed himself. Uh, one of, whoever was hurt already healed himself. Oh, how much? It was either one or two. I don't remember. Uh, let's oh, wait. See. I can look at the cards, right? No. I don't know. I'll say one. Okay. <laughs> These guys do a lot of damage. I have 13. I have 55. Okay, you first. Okay. I, I am going to attack this guy for three and immobilize and curse him. So, is, do I have disadvantage? No, he just has the shield. Okay, so minus one. Uh, so I attack him for two. He has a shield, so I attack him for one. But I also immobilize him, and I curse him. How do we? How do you add a curse card to this deck? Um, if you click on him, it like for when you take you're taking away, and then there's a you see there's the like purple mm -hmm. lightning guy. And that used up the knight, by the way. Okay. You used up the knight? I just used up the knight, yes. That's great. Because now they can't muddle. Oh, sweet. And then I attack the air because that's the only other thing I can do. I'm going to have to take a rest after this. Okay. So be aware. Oh, this is now. They died. I am... Oh, good. It's not ranged either. So he can't get me now. Phone. Phone. What's that noise? I think that's Doug. Hi, Doug. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. I'm not sure he knows that we can hear him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Um hold on. This, this was this one. Um I'm just gonna move one space. Okay. <laughs> onto the loot, I guess. Okay. Uh, and then attack this guy for four. Oh, sorry, for five. With advantage. Five plus zero, five plus zero. So five, but he has a shield, so it's four points. Cool. And finally get an XP for that. <laughs> That's like my last character. I got XP for like nothing. There was no XP in my life. This character though, lots of XP. But yep. very okay, so I have to do my thing now. Well, they have to move. Um, oh, right. The one can't because I immobilized it. This guy's immobilized, so he can't attack anyone. Mm -hmm. This guy can attack me. Or. Oh, he has advantage. All right, got a negative one both times. He attacks me for zero. Ooh. Now it's the next round. Okay. Yep. 
Okie dokie. Is, is Doug just talking to his phone? <laughs> I was hoping you'd summon something. Um, you were hoping I would summon something this turn? Yes. Last turn. Last turn. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was most of my summons were in my discard, so I had to wait. Okay, right, well, I <laughs> am gonna do something terrible. Awesome! I love when you start this it with "I'm gonna do something terrible." I have twenty nine. I have ninety two. Jeez. You have twenty nine. You said. They have 50. They're going to move and attack at range. Call Susan White. <laughs> Let me see if I can mute him. Yeah. I don't think I can. Hmm. Yeah, I can't. You can. Doug, we can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, if we start hearing his phone call, then that's going to be a problem. I'll message him. <laughs> I guess you could leave Discord. I could, I guess. And then I just have to be, uh, I guess, aware of when someone joins it. OK. I'm now no longer in the room. OK. I wonder if I can, I'm going to mute you on this, on the tablet, and so I can turn on my the speakers on my other device. Okay. What am I doing? This. This is what I'm doing. Okay, test. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. They need to be like in front of the mic or something like that so that they're not, they're away from the mic, I guess. There's that noise again. I just switched mics, but I guess that didn't, that's not good. That's the one, that's the one that was giving us the weird, like, high-pitched noise before. Yeah. Let me see if I can, maybe it's next to something that's causing interference. Is that better? I just moved the cord around a little bit. No, that's the same. Oh, that was better for a hot second. It was? Yeah. Let me think about this. I also have, so I have a headset. I could plug this into something. <laughs> Should I plug it into the tablet or to my other computer? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the tablet. Yeah, hold on a second. Now you're all muted.
the cunning plan failed because my tablet doesn't have an audio jack. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Wait, no, I can figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> My tablet only has a USB-C. My headset has a audio jack to USB adapter. So maybe I can attach this to a USB to a USB-C adapter. <laughs> if I have one. <laughs> Wow, that's a pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> I could. <laughs> so, so what's the problem then? Just being able to to hear people in the in the voice let's channel. Say, let's say Doug starts actually talking. Right now, we have no way of hearing him. That is true. Um, so to hear him, I would need to turn on. Well, but if he's not talking, then we're listening to his phone call. Right. So. I guess we're fine. And then just if you message him, then hopefully he'll read his message or something. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> okay. Doug, well, if you want to stuff, message me. Yes. <laughs> that works. Um, okay. Are we, what's going on here? Oh, they, these guys have to do something. Right? Right. Or did I move yet? Oh, I haven't moved yet. Um, I was going to do something. I'm healing myself for three. I'm at 12. And that eats up a sun. No, actually, sorry, it generates a sun, but we already have suns. Um, and then I'm moving four. One, two, three, four. Let's just bring on more. Okay. into uh, two of these rock golem guys and two, two. I can't why the hell not <laughs> I can't conceive of a reason why this would go wrong <laughs> I feel confident overly confident maybe Well, we have to kill the last guy. We don't actually have to kill these guys, right? That is true. So what if we just rush to the end? I mean, I guess we could just rush to the end. That was probably a very bad move because now these guys have to do their thing. Five and six. And then the cannons are three and four. Well, I think I'm I'm closer. Oh wait, I don't know. I'm confusing myself, so. Well, first things first, these sun dudes are gonna move. Um, this guy doesn't have to move. And he's, I think he's just going to shoot you. Right? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So he's no longer immobilized. He's going to shoot you, drawing a zero or a zero. So mm -hmm. two points of damage. The other guy has a range of three. One, two, three, four. Four from you, four from me. I have lower initiative, so he's going to go after me. Okay. Ready? Move, I guess, two like that. Okay. 
and then shoot me at minus two or times two. Oh, four points of damage. Ouchie. Um, the uh, stone golems are both going to move two and attack two. One guy goes here and attacks me for two and misses. And the other guy, I think, stuns himself. He's going to walk into one of these traps. Yeah. So we'll just choose that one and hit the front. That mobilizes. So he's immobilized. So oh, wait. Like, he's immobilized and poisoned, not stunned. Oh, immobilized and poisoned. Poison, number six. And then this one. And then the cannons. Wait, did he hit you or no? Oh, he's immobilized. Oh, he can still hit. Yeah. Okay, so that guy attacks me for uh, two plus zero is two. Sad. You got whacked. That was a very dumb move on my, my part. Uh, the cannons have a range of four. I'm not in range, so they don't do anything. Now it's your turn. Okay. That was exciting. <laughs> Dang, this guy is in my way. Oh well. Um, oh, his audio is happening so i'm gonna think about how to do this here <laughs> i wish i still had my move and jump okay um i am I'm gonna move one, two onto this loot and loot it. And then I am going to summon my slime spirit. Can right. you hear me? I can hear you, yes. And it's no. not terrible? It's echoey. How about now? Is it echoey? No, that's better. Okay, so I'm summoning my slime spirit like right in front of me, next to me, kind of thing. How about now? Is it echoey? No. Okay. And he has four health and three walking and only one hit. He has a shield and model and then I get that and that. Oh wait. That's Doug on his phone, I think. Yeah. It doesn't sound good. Uh-uh. I'm going to mute him. <laughs> there. Is that better? Uh, yes. Wait, how could you mute him? You can, you can, if you right click on his name. Oh, okay. There's a bunch of options. So you can join Discord again and then just mute Doug, I guess. Okay. Okay. Perfect. There we go. But now I'm I'm on my headset. So hopefully um the audio is good and everything. Yeah. It's fine for right now. Um okay. Okay. So all I did was summon my slime spirit and like loot a tile. That's all I did. Summon a slime spirit and loot a tile. 
Yep. So I'm like right up next to the sky. Yes. And then I summoned a slime spirit right in front of me, I guess. Yeah, I don't have the right color. That's okay. I need to pin your video. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so that's my turn. Okay. Wait, was that meant to be my turn? You told me to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the, the cannons didn't do anything? No, they're not in range, or I'm not in range of them. Okay. Yeah, it's the next round. Oh, and I have to do a um, short rest. Okay. Just, that was a dumb move on my end. <laughs> I shouldn't have opened the door. <laughs> You did say you were about to do something crazy. Yeah. Exciting. Man, I wish that the wind thing would stay up if I put it up because I could do some stuff then. Should I run back? Maybe not the worst idea. I could heal you if you run back. Although I should also take care of myself. Actually, I'm not sure you could get in range of a heal. I can move four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, do that then, probably. Best plan. Although I, um, should I try to attack one of them? Before running away? Oh, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I've got uh, 55. I have 25. Okay. It's you, the cannons, who are not going to do anything. Then me, then these guys. They only move one. Okay. Oh, wait. I went way too early because you are not going to be back by me yet. Oh. Dang it. That was stupid. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to heal myself instead for three. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> and then, oh wait, I can't do that first. First, my slime guy is going to hit this guy and muddle him. Uh, hit him for one and muddle him. Zero. But he has a shield, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so then that guy's just muddled. Muddle. Okay. Muddled. Um, and then I am going to make him, make my slime hit him again, um, and try to muddle him again. So he hits for, he just double muddles him. What a ridiculous move. Okay. That's my turn. Double muddle. Double muddle. Um over one and tried to muddle the other guy. Can you? Yes. Boop. Now they're both muddled. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like juicy fruit gum, except they're double muddled. <laughs> and probably, oh no, he's a slime. He doesn't taste better than juicy fruit. <laughs> <laughs> so he's over here now. <laughs> okay, the cannons do nothing, yeah? Yeah, because we're not in range. Um, and then it's my turn. 
I'm going to whack one of these guys. I guess I'll whack number five here. Oh, wait, I don't need to get, I don't need to get over here because you can't heal me anymore. So I can just go over here and whack this guy. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm moving one, two. I'm attacking him for five okay. with, with advantage. Minus one or plus one. So plus one. Five points of damage to that guy. He's dead. He only had three. Sweet. Dead. I did four because he has a shield, right? No. Yeah, he has a shield, but it doesn't matter. He's dead. Um, and I think that's it. Okay. Then the stone golems are going to move. This guy's no longer immobilized, right? Right, yeah, it's only one turn. Okay, well, they only move one. So only one of them's going to move, I guess. Yeah. He'll move forward one. Okay. And then the sun demon that's left is going to move, attack, and heal himself. Doesn't need to move. Um, attacks you for three. With but advantage. Like, no, he doesn't have advantage. It cancels out. Oh, the muddle, right. Well, I drew plus one both times. <laughs> so how many points? Four points. Boo. And heals him top for three points. So he's back up to maximum. Ugh. And no longer muddled. Right, no longer muddled. Uh, but now it's the next round. Do you need help with the sun demon or should I go back to the <laughs> rock guys? Um, I think I'll be okay with the sun demon. Maybe... Yeah, I think I'll be okay because I'm gonna. I don't love what's happening here, but I'll make it work. Nope. Hmm. Okay, I've um have sixty one. I have ninety four. All right. It's me, then the sun guy is going to move and attack. The cannons are going to do nothing because we're not in range. Uh, the stone guy is going to move and attack. Move just one, though. And then me at the very end. Mm hmm. The stone guy's only moving one. I wonder if I should try to go and attack him or not. I guess so. He's going to attack me back. Uh, all right, so I move one, and then I attack um, him for four. I use up a dark. OK. Four plus one. So that's five. 
the stone guys have shield of one, looks like. Yes. Is that the one that's poisoned or not? No, it isn't. Bad. So I do four damage. Okay. Um, and he's muddled. Oh, cool. And I get an XP. Um, I think that's it. Oops. Yeah, okay, so this, the sun guy is going to move to an attack three. It doesn't need to move. Um, just attacks you, right? Yep. Three points, um, either a whiff or a plus two. He'll take the plus two. Five points of damage. Hmm. Yeah. I'm in big trouble. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bummer. Uh, the two guns don't do anything. The stone guys, this guy attacks me for two. He's muddled, so two minus one or two minus two. So zero points. The other guy doesn't move or do anything because the other guy's in the way. Okay. And now me? Yep. Okay. Sorry. I took a giant bite of food right before I'm returned. <laughs> um, so my slime guy moves up to the... Sun guy? Sun guy. <laughs> Hits for one and muddle. Plus zero, so... Hits for zero and muddle. So he's muddled now. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to back up and I think you should leave him behind if you can. Hmm. That's a good plan. I'm going to go one, two, over to there. And I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to attack the ear because I'm nervous I'm running out of cards. And I'm going to use my stamina potion as the last thing I'm doing in this turn. OK. Okay, I'm done. How hurt are you? I have two hit points. So quite hurt. Would you rather I heal you or attack this guy? Mm -hmm. I was going to heal myself for a little bit. So I can survive this next turn. OK. But then I'm going to have to do a rest soon. All right, I have 29. I have 25. OK, you first. Sweet. All right, I'm healing myself for three. One, two, three. Phew. And I'm going to summon my thorn shooter, I guess, onto that loot. Mm-hmm. Um, hold 
Hold on. And that is my turn. Healing myself and summoning a thorn shooter. Wait, your slime attacks. All right. Are my slime attacks and muddles? He attacks for two points, which means he attacks for one point and muddles. Okay. So On second. my turn, I attack him for five. Okay. Plus one. Six points. He's dead. No, he has a shield. <laughs> he has oh, one man. hit point. I got excited. Me too. Um, and then I am going to move. Oh, man, they have range three this time. Yuck. I'm going to move here. Oh, man, that means that my thorn shooter is totally going to die. <laughs> um, my thorn shooter is supposed to be like my high damage one, but it always dies before I get to use it. Do you want me to take the hit then? No, you don't have to take the hit. Because that's a lot of hitting. It's going to be an attack of four. Yeah. Yeah. But they're at range, so they'd have to move back. Well, the one would. He can't move. He would so he'd be at disadvantage if I stayed there. He can't move? Mm mm. They don't have a movement. They just have attack four. Oh. Hmm. Up to you. I have six. I think I can I'm gonna take it. Okay. You have six health? Yeah. Okay, so I'm not moving. Okay. Um, the sun demon doesn't need to move. It's going to attack your slime guy for two. Minus one or... Oh, wait. It's, he's muddled. Yeah. Right? So, so it's just negative one. So it's one point of damage. It's not, though, because he has a shield. All right. So your slime guy is fine. The cannons are doing nothing. The stone guy is attacking me with four, but at disadvantage. So it's either plus two or plus one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I'm down to one. <laughs> oh, I forgot. There's another one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that guy is attacking me. And I have to get rid of a card. Boo. I'm sorry. I should have. We could have sacrificed the thorn shooter. I forgot about the second guy. Otherwise, I would have. But whatever. It's okay. Um, I'll get rid of. Well, I have to do a short rest. this one. Okay, next town, next round. Oh, they each take two damage, though. This guy blows up. Bye-bye, you. You dead. And that guy takes three damage because he's poisoned, right? Um, I think that only works for attacks. Okay, so he takes two damage. Oh, but he does, it does prevent healing. So if he has a heal at some point, it will, it'll just get rid of the poison. Okay. I need to do that. I think I need to do these guys. Okay. I have 57. I have 51. Oops. The cannons are going to attack at range three. So they don't do anything. You're, you're up. Okay. I'm going to heal you for three. Yay. 
<laughs> and, oh, I shouldn't have done that yet. First, my slime guy attacks the sun dude for one, plus one, so for one, and muddled still, still very muddled. So he's down to five hit points and he's super muddled. My thorn shooter, hold on. My thorn shooter moves right behind you. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Yep. And uh, shoots and poisons this stone golem. Uh, so shoots him for two plus one, minus one because shield. So but plus one because of poison. He's already poisoned. Oh, right. So three and maintains the poison. Then I heal you. And then I have the thorn shooter do that again. So he's shooting him again for two. Um, plus zero. Plus one, minus one, so two more points of damage. And that, that was pretty turn. good. Yeah. In the grand scheme of turns. Yeah. So uh, the stone column is going to move into the doorway and attack me for two. Minus one. So attack me for one. Okay. I'm going to three now. And then it's my turn. I am healing myself for three. Or should I heal you? How much do you have? Um, I was at five and you were only at three, so you should heal you. Okay. Heal myself for three and then I think I'm just moving. <laughs> um Moving one space. Where are you moved to? Oh, over there. I can move two onto the loot. I'll do that. Okay. In case we die, at least I'll get loot. <laughs> um, and finally, the sun guy is going to attack at range, so needs to move. So he moves one away, I guess. Mm-hmm. Attack two against, ooh, target all enemies within range. So me and the slime? He has a range of four. One, two, three, four, and me. <laughs> Damn it, I had to go for that loot. <laughs> okay. Okay, attacks all three of us. But he's, um, muddled. But he's muddled. muddled. So I'll do the slime first. So attacks the slime minus one or minus one. So it hits the slime for one. Slime has shield, so zero. Yeah. Attacks you at either plus one or times two. It'll be the plus one. So it attacks you for three. Great. And then hits me either a miss or a plus zero. It'll be the miss. So he misses. That's good. And now it's the next round. Oh, and I had to do uh, another short rest here. How are you on cards? Um, I'm not doing great on cards. I was about to do my thing where I can pull my lost cards because I'm down to very few cards. Do you have cards in your discard? I have two cards in my discard. Okay. All right. Um, I have 85. 
I have 96. Oof, Jesus Christ. I was yeah. hoping to go after you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the cannons don't do anything. They're going to be a pain in the ass when we actually get in range. <laughs> the, the sun guy is no longer modeled. Uh, doesn't need a move. Oh, it does need a move. Moves forward one onto the loot again. Attacks your slime for three plus one, so four, and then whatever. Oh, draws twice. Four, and then whatever the shield is. So minus two shields, so. Two points. Two points. And heals himself back to full. Aw, oh, man. I've been working on this guy for ages. That's why I think we should just leave him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he uses up the light in doing that, okay. which kind of sucks because I was going to use up that light as well. Oh, well. Um, the stone guy moves one and attacks the vine. Shoot. Two plus zero for two points. He's dead. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. Squishy. Very squishy. Um, and now it's my turn. I am going to use my empowering command and one adjacent ally may recover two cards from your discard. Great. I have two cards. I'm taking my two cards. And then I am also going to uh, lose this card to do an attack five on him. Okay. Times two. He's very dead. Super dead. Woohoo. And I get two XP for that. And now it's your turn. Oops, what did I just do? No, go away. You did. Um, okay, so I am going to recover four lost cards. So one, two, three, four, four lost cards. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, but I can only do it once. But it's pretty awesome because I I now have three loss four loss cards that I ooh I think then, I have like I don't have very many turns left in me. Okay, and then I'm attacking the air because I don't have I don't have space to summon anybody else right this second. Mm, but your slime attacks. Oh right, but my slime attacks and tries to muddle that guy. Attack of one times two, so it's still an attack of one, and muddles the sun guy again. Okay. And muddled again. And that is my turn. Legit. All right, next round. We should just, I think we should just run as far as we can into the room. We need to try to finish this. <laughs> yeah, I think running in, running is the way to go here because otherwise we're both going to run out of cards and we're not even going to be in the final room yeah but we also need to get that chest so that we have two like free shots at the guy because the special rules are that each of them gives us a um a free shot basically yeah okay i have 29 I have, yeah. No, wait, sorry, I have 57. I have, hold on.
I guess I have 82. 82. How many did you say you had? 57. Okay. The cannons go first. Ooh, they have a range of six this time. One, two, three, four, five, six. They hit the, they go for the doorway. But we're still out of range, but damn. <laughs> Uh, so they shoot nothing, and then I go three into the door, grab that loot, and then heal. Uh, I'm not in range of you anymore, so I heal myself. Three, so I'm three. up to nine now, yeah. And now it's your turn. Okay. Uh, my slime hits that guy again. Uh, for less than nothing, but continues. He's still muddled, all the muddling. And then I'm moving five. One, two, three, four, five to the room. And I'm gonna summon my two shadow wolves to hopefully take all the damage for us. One and two shadow wolves. Where am I? One, two, and then two, three. And they have pierced, but I guess that doesn't matter. Do the cannons have a shield? No. Okay. So hopefully the two of them will help protect us from the cannons. Yep. Oh, okay. Um, the Sun Demon is going to move attack one. Um, doesn't need to move. Attack your slime for one plus zero. So okay. one point. Nothing because you have shield. Oh, he's muddled though. Yeah. So I only drew one instead of two. Oh, okay. Yeah, because normally he has advantage. Um, if there's no dark, then he gets muddled, right? No, I think if there is a dark, he muddles himself. Isn't that what that says? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. uses up the dark. And muddles himself. And muddles himself. Well, yep. he's already muddled, but now he's doubly muddled. Well, he's remuddled, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, he's remuddled. Okay, next round. I have um, 61. I have 51. Okay, you first. Okay. Um. Their range is four. Their range is four? Yeah, so this Shadow Wolf can get hit by this guy. And it's attack of two? Mm hmm Okay. So first my slime attacks the sun guy again for one plus one minus one is one for one damage and remuddling yet again. The slime guy's just basically stuck back there dealing with him. So, um, and then my shadow wolves each move up two, I guess. How, how much? Oh, no, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then this guy tries to hit the cannon for two times two. I finally got my bless that you blessed me a million years ago. So he hits that, that cannon for four. Four. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. And the other guy doesn't hit 
I'm going to move up. Wait. Do they, is it, it's just attack to range four? But all adjacent enemies suffer two damage, so don't stand next to them. Oh. No, I'm, I'm doing it because I'm going to be not adjacent anymore in a minute. One, two, three, four, on to the what should do the... Okay. Sphere of Midnight. So I have a Sphere of Midnight. And I make this Shadow Wolf move up with this cannon and attack for two. This cannon? Can you make him attack this cannon? Yes, I can. So I move him in between, I guess. And he attacks that cannon for two, plus one for three. That cannon is dead. Dead. Go away, cannon. And that is my move. That was good. Yeah, you. But um, I'm still gonna kill one of my, or both of my shadow wolves, possibly. You you moved way farther than I thought you would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm moving to, and blessing the air. <laughs> 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 then, but I'm also blessing you. Oh, okay. And giving you strength, strengthen, which I think means you get to have advantage. I have advantage on my next attacks. Sweet. Wait, do all of my summons get advantage too? Is it for the whole turn? It says advantage on attacks. That's all it says. And then remove at end of turn. I have no idea. I think it's just you. Okay. But if you want, I can I can give the I can give it to the Shadow Wolf instead. I have a range of three for this. So if we want, this Shadow Wolf has the advantage. That Shadow Wolf? Mm-hmm. He can like move over and attack the cannon, I guess. Okay. Yeah, give it to that Shadow Wolf. Don't give it okay. So you get bless, and then this one shadow wolf has advantage. Okay, let me strengthen that shadow wolf. Strengthen. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Sorry. This character is way faster than my other character. My last character would have been in range still, but this one's like zoomy. Yeah, no, this is fine. Um, the cannon attacks. Uh, attacks this guy, but has a disadvantage. Yep. Um, so attack either plus two or plus one. So attack of three, and all adjacent enemies suffer two damage. So this guy takes three, and this guy takes two. Okay, so the one that was right next to him is dead. Which okay. I expected. Dead. And then the other one just has two points of... He's down to one hit point. Okay. And then the, oh wait, I forgot to move. That guy's dead. Um, this, this, the sun demon moves back one. Okay. <laughs> and attacks your slime with a times two. Yikes. So four damage minus whatever shield you have. He's dead now. Mm. Slimey, slime spirit. You did quite well, though. And then the sun guy is no longer muddled. Ooh, but he's way back there. We need to get into the next room before he gets moving good. Yeah. And now it's the next round. Okay. I have 65. I have... Trying to figure with figure out which one I want. I think I want. No, I want twenty five. Is what I want. Oops. Okay. Yeesh. <laughs> the cannon has AOE. Three spaces going to immobilize. Only attack a one though. Okay, that's okay. You go first. 
All right, so my Shadow Wolf moves one and tries to hit this guy for two times two, so hits him for four. You have advantage, but I guess it doesn't matter because you drew the times two. <laughs> yeah, doesn't matter. So four, and then I heal myself for three. Oops, what did I do? And then I guess I just attack the air because I'm about to run out of cards and things are going to go horribly wrong if I run out of cards. Okay. Um, the cannon attacks the shadow wolf at disadvantage. Okay. Negative one or plus one, so negative one. So it does zero damage. Okay. But immobilizes him, the wolf. And it's my turn. Okay. I move four spaces. One, two, three. Wait. Hmm. Yeah, three, and then attack the cannon uh, for five, and advan I have advantage. So plus one or plus zero. The cannon's dead. And I get an XP. Um, and I'm done. Then the Sun Demon moves two and heals himself. One, two. And it's back up to seven. This guy is terrible. <laughs> and now it's the next round. And I am doing a long rest. So, so I'm I. Running. I have 99. You have 99. I also have 99. The um, sun demon moves <laughs> uh, two spaces. One, two. Oh, no. He's going to catch up with us. The cannon dead. We're both doing long rests. What does your shadow wolf do? Um, I guess he moves on to the trap. One, or back two. towards the shadow, the sun demon. Yeah, I guess he would move towards the shot, the sun demon. So one, two, three, back towards the sun demon. Okay, and both of us are long resting. You're both long resting, yes. I'm trying to figure out what to give up. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to get rid of that one. And then I get two hit points back. Oh! I could have, I could have healed my, I'll heal him on this next turn. And you get two hit points back too, right? Yep. And I get my winged shoes back. That was the more important thing because I want to jump over those stupid traps. Yep, I can jump over some stuff too. So how much health do you have now? I'm up to seven now. Okay. I am getting decently low on cards though. Yeah. I can't get to the Oh, I can get to the door. Do you want me to get to the door? No, I don't want to do that. Uh, I can't get to the door. I can get almost to the door, but. Yeah, same. Wait, are we both of us looking at the same spot? Probably. Do you want me to hang back and not get in that spot by the door? Because I can certainly do that. We could both just hop on to loot this turn and then our next turn hop into the door. Yeah, okay.
I mean, the only issue is that if I, so I can't summon anything, so it'll be like a bit of a waste of a card on this turn. Oh, so what were you thinking? You would hop here and summon something? Yeah, so that we could just go like go straight in. That's fine. I can just I can park right here or right here and you do the thing and then the next turn we rush in. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I can do that. Okay. I have it doesn't really matter. I have thirteen. I have sixty one. Next round. Um thirteen. 61. Yeah, 17. It's going to heal itself. Um, right. Doesn't matter. I mean, okay, so it's your turn. Okay, so I am healing my Shadow Wolf for two. So he's now back up to full health. And. Um, What's the range of your healing? That one, it's just I get to heal any of my summons. Because okay. He one, two, three, back into this doorway. Yeah, because he's going to move. One, two, yeah. yeah. Okay, and then I move um, one, two, three, four, five into almost the doorway. And I'm going to summon Oops. my thorns. I accidentally moved me. <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> um, and summon my thorn shooter, like, right next to me. Okay. So... Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. The sun guy heals himself for three. That does nothing because he's already full health and doesn't do anything else. Okay. On my turn, I move onto this loot here. One, two. And then I bless and strengthen your thorn. Okay. So he is strengthened. And then I put a bless back in mine. Because it does not let me put blessings on the, like there's not a bless section. Mm -hmm. for it's pretty powerful for summon because then your whole deck benefits or all your summon creatures benefit from the bless. Yeah, which I feel like is cheating. I feel like. No, I think we, uh, we've, um, we're expert players. <laughs> it doesn't specifically say we can't do it in the book. Right. But I have a feeling if we asked the game designers that they'd be like, oh, no, no, you're not supposed to do that. Well, then let's not ask. Okay. I won't ask them. <laughs> <laughs> um, your next turn. Okay. Okay, so now we are like rushing in, right? One, two, three. We are rushing in. Gonna do this. Do you know where you're gonna end up? I guess we can't plan that. Um, yeah, I can't, I'm not moving far. Let's put it that way. Do you still need heals? I, I've met seven, so a heal would not be the worst idea in the world, but I'm, I'm also still okay. Okay. I have 55. I have 51. All right. He's going to do the same thing. He's going to heal himself for three, does nothing, and just sit there. Okay. My turn? Yep. All right, so my Shadow Wolf goes one, two, over to him, and tries to hit him for two, and he has Pierce as well. So two plus one, so three, just three because he has Pierce. So that guy's now down to four. Mm-hmm. And my other guy can't really move anywhere. 
Can you move? They can't go through doors? I don't think they can go through doors. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that like, like mobs, they can't go through doors. Automated monster rules. So the automated monster rules are that the monsters don't open doors. But that's okay. So he doesn't really, does he try to like go attack the sun demon? I don't know. If he does, then he goes through traps. Yeah, he does. I mean, if it's automated monster rules, then. Then yes, right? Then yes, he goes into the trap. Although I feel like I would have gone earlier than you <laughs> if we had planned this right. Because then the door would be open. Yeah. Oh, well. OK, so I guess he goes into this trap. So he it doesn't get very far. He's just poisoned and immobilized. Yeah. Which is fine, because he now wasn't doing anything this turn anyways. That is true, except for that I had planned something different. But that's OK. So I am going to move into the doorway. Um, what's in here? Another sun guy. And the boss, where are you the boss? And the boss. And another night demon. Okay. And I'm gonna move back into this corner. Oh, wait, did I put another night guy in? I didn't. And then, um, although my thorn shooter, oh, wait, what's his range for? <sighs> so he can't move because he's immobilized, right? Right. One, two, three, four, five. He's one out of range. Okay, so that's like a giant waste. So I just attack the air, I guess. <laughs> Terrible. And I have Wait. To uh, finally reaching the entrance to the sanctum, you prepare for the last challenge. You open the door to a place stuck between eternal darkness and blinding light. Two huge demons flank a uh, Savas, whose chest pulses with black and golden lights. Savas cannot normally master those elements, but by the look on its face, you guess that doing so drove it mad. Special rules. If any character is adjacent to the altar, A, at the end of their turn, they may discard the Crystal of Zenith or a Sphere of Midnight to cause the colorless to suffer two times C damage. What's C? Characters. Number of characters. So four damage. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the boss has some special moves. Okay, so the colorless has 20 hit points. <laughs> Yo! Um, yeah. Wow. Well. Yeah. I'm not sure we're going to defeat this one. No. And now it's, it's turn before I get to go. Hmm. Special two. The colorless consumes light to summon one normal sun demon for two characters or one elite. He summons another sun demon. And then gains shield one and heals itself. Yeah. So there's another sun demon. I hate sun demons. Right here. And he has a shield. Ooh. 
<laughs> it's 20 hit points. We're, if we do the thing, he's going to have 12 hit points. Do we start to do 12 hit points on him? Yep. Ouchie. Okay. The sun demons all heal themselves. That's all they do. So this guy heals himself. Great. So is he all the way back up? Yeah. They heal for three. Um, the night guy moves to attack four. He moves to you, attacks you for four. Plus one. Gosh. Five points. Down to two. I don't think I'm going to survive this. Then my turn. I'm going to heal you for three. <laughs> I'm glad I had that out. Um, <laughs> and move. One, two, three, four. Into the room. And that's my turn. Oh, I was one further back, by the way. I had moved back into the room. Sorry. Oh. Then you didn't get hit. Oh, I didn't? No, because he can only move two. Oh, okay. Okay, so then you healed me for three, and I... Was that seven? Yeah. And if, if that's true, then I'm not going to go into the room. I'm just going to go next to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I have to do a short rest. And then I'm down to like maybe one more, two more things. So yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Same here, sort of. We did so well in that first one with the new characters, and then it's done really poorly since then. Mm -hmm. I have 32, I believe. I have 51. Oh, and I have the other thingy, so I need to somehow get to the altar. I don't know if I can even do that. I don't think I can even do that. Well, first he summons a sun demon. Great. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, there's no way we're going to do this. <laughs> so I guess I'll go right there. Um, wow, this is this is very hard, actually. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, my turn, I'm going to let the vine cheater or whatever his name is uh attack with an attack of four. Oh, sweet okay so he attacks with four plus zero so against like what's his range four i guess he has to attack this guy yeah okay so the night demon for four okay so he has one left and he's poisoned i guess hmm So that's cool. And unfortunately, my other thing requires someone to be next to me. So I attack the air. Okay. And I'm going to do a short rest. Okay. Um, so the night demon is going to move one, attack me for four although there's a night there's a dark thing so he actually attacks me for six <laughs> that, if I read it if I'm reading this right um, can I attack when I attack the air can I attack the air with my ability 
Because if so, then I expend the dark. I guess. Okay. I attack the air. <laughs> <laughs> really Drawing strong. away the darkness. Okay. <laughs> so he attacks me for four. Oh, he whiffs. Whew. <laughs> it's your turn. Need a few. Okay, so my shadow wolf attacks that particular sun demon for two times two for four. That's the original sun demon. Oh wait, for three because he's got shield. Nope, my wolf has pierce for four. And then my thorn shooter shoots the the night demon. For two plus zero, but the guy's poisoned, so for three, but he's dead no matter what. So dead. We've left a lot of loot right lying around. And then I am going to <laughs> close the door and run away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can close the door and run away. What if uh, we make a beeline for this chest? Like, screw it all out. Try, just try to get that chest. <laughs> I am sort of thinking about making a beeline for the chest, but I can't quite get there. So, but the, the sun guys have already gone, right? No. Yeah, they did. They Didn't they? No. No. Oh, no. Move to. They're going to move attack three. I'm at 10, though. You'll survive. Okay, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, like right next to the chest. And and I'm gonna summon a living bomb. Oh, yes. <laughs> Am I gonna summon the living bomb? I think if I summon, never mind, I can't summon the living bomb because then it, this is my last turn and I can't get to the chest on the next turn. So I'm not summoning the living bomb. Maybe I'll summon him next time. Okay. But instead of that, I'll just hit this guy for two. Minus one. I do no damage. That was just terrible. Okay. But I almost made it to the chest, and those guys are now going to try to hit me. Wait, if you did a living bomb... No, because I have to do a short rest like right now. So then I would only have one card and I couldn't have a turn. Oh, dude, don't whack your head on the ladder. There was no way around it. But I might be able to do a living bomb for this next turn, assuming I don't short rest it away. Okay. Which I'm going to try really hard not to do without cheating, though. Okay, so just one more gold. I can, I mean, I have enough movement to move on to the chest if we want me to do it. Up to you. Well, let's see what else I have here. I can make, ooh, I can make your vine attack again. How, how many spaces can your vine move? Just one. I lost my living bomb. What's your vine's range? Four. Okay. So if I go after you, then he'll be within range of something and I can make him attack. Okay, but I don't have any like really high cards right now. The best mm. I can do is middle. Wait, these guys have to attack me first. Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> We're so intent on doing your short rest and all that stuff. Uh, okay, so um, let's just handle this guy against your Shadow Wolf first. Um, he draws a... Oh, shit. I already went into the next turn. Why don't I draw and then draw for that guy? Crap. Yeah. No, it'll work. Yeah, it'll work. We'll just pretend. We'll pretend. Okay, two and, like, three. And draw. Oh. 
Well, let me do two and three. I think you have to put zero, two, and zero, two. Okay, so ignore all this. Um, what were the sun demons going to do? They were going to move and attack. They each had attack of two, I believe, right? It was either attack of two or, or attack of three. It was attack of three. Yeah, move of two, attack of three. So this guy's attacking this guy. Uh, either plus zero or minus one, so plus zero. So three points to the shadow wolf. Good job, shadow wolf. This guy's attacking you at either plus zero or plus one, so four points. Oh, I'm going to die before... This guy moves there and attacks you also at either minus two or plus two. So five points. I'm down to one point. And this guy won't be able to reach you. He just moves forward like that. Sweet. Okay, now we do next round. Um, so I want to go early because otherwise I might die. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so I have 25, I guess. Oh, you know what? It doesn't matter if we get the chest because I don't think we get to take the chest with us, do we? I think it's only the loot loot. Let me see. I don't know. I thought it was, I thought chests counted as loot. It might just be, okay, the scenario is lost, but what happens if we lose? Wait a second, it says, tally the money tokens they looted. Anything not looted is not collected. It doesn't say anything about the treasure. So hold on, let me see about. We've been doing treasures collected at the end of your turn, at the end of the turn. Y yeah. So you would have to like live, I think, <laughs> or something like that. Let me look at treasure. All tiles and number tiles. Yeah, we immediately reference it to discover what is looted. Yeah, okay, so I immediately loot it. So I get to take it if I get it. Okay. Assuming I survived the round, I guess. Yeah. Or no, it said at the end of my turn, didn't it? No, it just says that I immediately reference it as soon as it's looted, which okay. is my turn, right? Yeah. I've got 57. Okay. You have to go early if you can. 25. He goes first. He's going to summon a sun demon. Ugh. I guess right there. Number four. Oh no, you fell over. Where are you? <laughs> I knocked you over by accident. <laughs> um, five sun demons go. But they're oh, all they all heal themselves. They don't do anything but heal themselves. Oh my gosh. So this guy heals himself. He's back up to six. And now it's your turn. One, two, three. Oh, wait, and there's one more. Five. Okay. So I'm going to. Oh, so my thorn shooter guy, I guess, moves up next to you. And one, two, three, shoots this guy, the one that's next to me, sort of. Okay. Two and poison. 
So for three in poison, but he's shielded, so two in poison. And then I move on to the treasure tile. Dun, da, 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 and I loot it, and it is number 68. Trapped. Trapped. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I got a ring. Sweet. I gained the helix ring, whatever that is. So let me mark off helix ring. Sweet. And is then, it one of these blue ones? I don't know. It says number 130. Do you actually get the ring or just a blueprint for the ring? the ring oh it's a unique item Ooh, it's cool during my turn i i can use up the both the sun and the moon and heal myself 25. wow yeah indeed wow sweet okay so i did that and then I made my, I'm going to make my um, thorn shooter guy go again. He's going to move into the doorway and he's going to shoot that same guy for two and poison. Oh, wait, I get another, another one of these. Two and poison. What's his range again? His range is four? Range is four, yeah. Why don't you shoot the boss? Because there's no way we're going to do 20 damage to the boss. Because I'm done. This is the end of my turn. Okay. All right. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> I doubt I can, I can take out the boss by myself. But yeah, go ahead. Okay. Two, three, four because he's poisoned. Minus one because he's got a shield. So three damage to that same guy. So that guy's down to two. I mean, I guess I could do the boss, but I don't, I don't think you're going to be able to take out the boss. How many turns do you have left? Because that was my last turn. Oh, probably like two. Okay. I guess he can shoot the boss instead. So plus one. So for three, three and the boy, and the boss is poisoned. Oh no, never mind. He's not poisoned because. He's immune. Yeah. He Okay, so now he has 17 points, and that is the end of my turn, and also the end of the story for me, because I am now exhausted. Mm. You don't have any more cards in your discard? I have two cards in my discard, so I'd have to do a short rest. I got it. I have no more cards in my hand. Yeah. Um, I mean, if, if you can give me those two cards back right this second, then I get one more turn and I can I mean, I can either give you your two cards back or I can have your thorn shooter shoot. If you give me the two cards back, I can go drop the thingy. I can go do the, the, um, Sphere of Midnight and take another four points off of him. Mm -hmm. Or my Thorn Shooter can, and my Thorn Shooter can shoot. So it's probably better to give me my cards back. Truthfully, because then I can do four plus he can shoot twice. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody joined or something like that. Or somebody left. <laughs> um, the only thing is, I had meant to choose this card, but I didn't. <laughs> so if, if we say I did choose it, then what I would be doing is moving one, two, three, like onto the loot or something. No, four. 
I guess I would be moving like right there, so I'm closer to the altar. And then make you draw two of your discards. Okay. Are we, is that what we're, we're pretending that that happened? Yeah, but the, the, the bad thing is it gets rid of my heal card. Well, I can heal you on this next turn. To do that move, move and stun. Um, I'm stunning this guy. Okay. Stun. I can heal you on this next turn if you need it. I don't need it. I have 10 right now, I think. Or 11, actually. I don't know. This was cocked. <laughs> I have 10 or 11. It says 11 on my screen. So. Okay. Okay. At the end of the round, or does... Yes, that's the end of the round. Okay. That we're, we're not going to win, but... Um, you know, this extends it one one round, I guess. <laughs> that night demon is dead, by the way. <laughs> is it Doug? Yeah, he said sorry uh, that he was tuning in from the parking lot for a bit, and then he thought he quit the app, and he was uh, driving home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to hope that I go early again, because, or at least don't get hit, because I only have one hit point. I can do, hmm. Oh, I could heal myself using my new helix ring. For 25 points. Mm -hmm. If you go first and. If I go or, first. Or, or if you go, if you're still alive and no one's used the light and dark. Yes. Yeah, because I have to use both light and dark. Yeah. All right. Anyways, I have 55 now. I have 25 again. You do go first. Okay, so I'm using the light and the dark and healing myself all the way back up to full. Okay. Not that it really matters because this is for real is my last turn unless you can pull my discards again. Nope. That guy died like a million years ago. Okay, so my thorn shooter, I guess, just stays in place and he shoots at the boss for two plus zero. So for two, one, two. And then um, I'm going to move up next to the boss and drop the sphere of midnight on him. So Sphere of Midnight, so that's another four points of damage. One, two, three, four. Adjacent to the altar. How yep. far can you move? Only only two spaces probably, right? Yeah, only two. Am I in the way now? Um, no, I can move here. Okay. And then... Wait, what did I do? Okay, and then my Thorn Shooter goes again. Um, oh my gosh, I'm going to be one point off of leveling up one point. And um, he's going to shoot the boss again for two and poison, except it doesn't work, and it's negative one. So one point of damage. So he's down to 10. So all you have to do is hit him for 10 points. I hit him for six points, because I'm going to drop the other artifact on the art altar. Okay, yeah, so drop the other artifact and then hit him for six points and we're good. No bigs. <laughs> but before that happens, all these sun demons go. Yep. Um, 
Well, they're going to move two, attack two. They have a range of three. They're going to try to hit me. I have initiatives. So yeah, they are. They're all. All of them are going to go after you. So let's. Well, no, two, this guy right? is just going to move two up. We've been forgetting to move this guy in the back. Oh, he's just going to move two. Was he supposed to have moved to some other time? No, I don't think so. Because he attacked, he moved oh. and attacked, and then, and then okay. they were, did a bunch of healing or something like that. Okay. Okay, so this guy's going to move there, and this guy's going to move there, and then all four of them are attacking you. Yep. Yeah. So an attack of two with advantage. Um, so either a whiff or a plus zero, so that's two points. One, two. And then either plus one or times two, so that's four points. Okay. And then either a plus zero or a plus zero, so that's two points. Okay. And then a negative one or a negative one, so one point. I actually survived that. <laughs> I'm exhausted, but I survived. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I am moving four. One, two, three, four. I'm dropping the other thing. So he's down to six. And I'm attacking him for five. Plus advantage. Times two. Or plus zero. He's dead. Good. Oh my gosh. How? How? We just won. Yeah, but we cheated. <laughs> we that one cheat. card. Switched out that one card. It was only a little bit of cheating. <laughs> that was pretty epic. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with cheating. <laughs> we need a win. <laughs> <laughs> it was only searching because you meant to that card. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were correcting a mistake. If this was a computer game... We would have lost. No, I would have, I would have been able to make sure I chose the right card. Oh, yeah. You would have double-checked because you would have had to have clicked on it. Or something, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I could read the conclusion. <laughs> Let's just hand, wave our hands. Uh, okay. Uh, with all your strength, you drive your weapon deep into the Savas's chest, shattering its cores. Suddenly, the unnatural light and darkness is pulled towards the wound, gathering it inside it before bursting out in a huge blast. The empty body of the Savas drops dead to the floor. The twilight around you returns to normal as you gather your loot and leave the temple. One last time, you stare up at the ceiling and marvel at the impossibility of this place. Ten experience each. Wow, nice. And plus six for winning it. Mm-hmm. And then each of these things is worth two, right? Yes. Yeah. Each gold is worth two. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, okay, so I definitely make a level. That's exciting. I'm gonna be level four now. But I'm not gonna make everybody watch me level up because it takes a while. Because it's hella boring. It is hella boring. But I'm excited because that means that maybe I won't die so easily or get exhausted so easily. Actually, I probably will still get exhausted just as easily, but better than nothing, so. Hey, I leveled up too. Oh, sweet. Exactly, in fact. I have 150, exactly. Nice. Change. I'll do it later, too. <laughs> I still have almost nothing, but, you know, whatever. Wow. Okay, so pretend we didn't cheat that last turn. Uh-huh. And this was pretty epic. Yes. And I think it's pretty clear. I need to buy armor. <laughs> I think that is, is definitely clear. And I need like 
I need to get a better stamina potion. Mm. Are, is there a better stamina potion? Not yet. Oh, hey, I made my two perks. My card was um, have one or more monsters present on the map at the beginning of every round. Ah, mine was loot five or more money and I didn't do it. The other one was kill less than three, three or less. And in truth, I, I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it just looking at how many bad guys there were. And I think all of my summon kills count towards me. Mm. So I was like, oh, there's no way. So I went with the other one and then I failed at that one instead. What number is this? Okay, cool. Thanks for watching the saga. Um, thanks for Doug for sort of piggybacking <laughs> while in his car. Um, you know, this will be uploaded to YouTube and both in saga and my YouTube channels. Uh, and if you enjoyed this, you should watch us every week or approximately every week. Yes, approximately every week when we can. Yeah, I don't think I uploaded last week's yet, actually. So I guess I'll be uploading two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes there's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm okay with cheating. Yeah. I'm kind of okay with cheating, but only kind of. Have yeah. I mean, it's not egregious. It's just a little bit. Just a, it was, it was a, it was a mistake. What did I just, what did it suck in? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to start recording. Okay. There we go. There we go.